This is Eddie Hearn, Matchroom Boxing. You're watching Sporting Icons. You don't need to be anywhere else. Right, so Christina Lenarda too. She brought over her WBO Super Lightweight Female World Title to defend against the undisputed lightweight world champion, Katie Taylor. Katie Taylor's 15th professional fight. And of course, Katie Taylor moving up in weight. Anyway, if you're new on in, please click that subscribe button. Make sure you do it now. Now, I've covered every single one of Katie Taylor's fights, so I can see the progression quite clearly. I can see some of the things that uh, she's improved upon a lot and some of the things that she don't do or hasn't done so well in this fight and maybe a couple of fights before this one compared to what she once did. But ultimately, a lot of this is down to the better opposition um, because ordinarily what she would do and what made her stand out, I think, was the way of her fighting style was where that uh, Katie would get in on the inside of her opponent and bang away at the body as she's pivoting, which is very, very difficult for the opponent to stop what's coming in. But ultimately, Katie Taylor has moved up in weight and is a fantastic, fantastic fighter. She really is. And uh, she beats Christina Leonardo too um, on points. Um, Christina not too happy. But ultimately, listen, Katie Taylor is very, very emotional about it and big up to her, as she's on the screen right now being interviewed. But Katie Taylor, she used that ring fully, okay? She could use her footwork in and out of range, making Christina miss with those huge, huge bombs. Uh, and that's pretty much what uh, Christina was there for, really. Um, I think that she knew that she wasn't going to beat Katie Taylor on points. I think skill-wise, Katie Taylor is a couple of levels above her. Not massive amounts, because um, obviously Christina, she's a world champion herself, or formerly at least. And, but... Christina will come through swinging big punches. And as she's doing it, and again, I don't quite understand why her and other fighters do this. They shout as they punch. I understand the reasoning behind it. It has that little bit more zip um, into the punch. But you're letting your opponent know that you're throwing some punches. That gives your opponent not only eye contact, but also you can hear that the punch is coming through so you know to move out of the way. And ultimately, I think that's what Katie Taylor was using because whenever Christina was throwing some big punches, Katie Taylor made her miss wildly. She really did. And Katie wasn't wasting her own shots. Um, she was using her jab very, very well, using the ring, literally every inch of that ring that uh, she was using. And of course, Katie, she was giving up her size and reach advantage, or at least it looked like she did. But Katie was in and out very, very quickly using the jab, uh, throwing a couple of combinations. Not throwing as many combinations as she usually does. But I, I, I do think a lot of that is down to the fact that uh, Christina is quite heavy-handed and we're looking for the punch or the big knockout punch. And Katie weren't getting into it as much as Katie Taylor does love to brawl. We've seen it time and time again. But she just was very, very clinical. I think that's probably the best way to, to sum up Katie Taylor's performance tonight was clinical. There was nothing deadly about it. There was nothing spectacular about it, but just clinical. Get the job done, win the rounds one by one. Didn't look like her. she ever really wanted to go for the knockout. She knew that she was going to go the distance. And for me, she won this fight by three or four rounds. Um, I know the Sky commentators had it a little bit more close and uh, how they were saying that they wouldn't be too surprised if the judges had it as Christina winning. For me, Christina didn't land too much. In fact, arguably, I think Christina's best round was round number 10 where she was actually landing some pretty big punches. I mean, that one. And, but Katie, she showed a very, very good chin in that one. But listen, she was no match for Katie Taylor. Now, will Katie Taylor, will she go back down to defend her undisputed lightweight world titles and maybe have a rematch against Delphine Pursun? Will she try to unify again at super lightweight? We'll have to wait and see. But either way, I'm sure everybody, um, uh, cer certainly in the Republic of Ireland, be very, very proud of Katie Taylor. Of course, in Northern Ireland and UK as a whole, um, everybody pretty much uh, loves Katie Taylor and uh, she's a fantastic person, wonderful human being, excellent fighter. She really is. But very, very good clinical performance from Katie Taylor to become a two-weight world champion. Drop your thoughts below. Click that thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe. Catch you all on the next video.